Here at b &H, questions we tend to get are specifically from parents who want to buy their son or their daughter their first video camera. But which one? <laughs> In the age of digital, there are just so many options to choose from and it can feel a little overwhelming. Well, never fear, b &H is here and we got you covered. But first, a brief disclaimer for all the pros out there. We know you're probably mixing and matching your camera choices based on your own creative styles or experiences, so please take note that the following suggestions are coming from a more general, good place to start perspective. With that said, let's get into it. As you begin your search, the first question you want to ask your student filmmaker is, what are you shooting? Because video cameras are actually designed with specific applications in mind. So once you figure out how they will use their camera, the options are much easier to narrow down. For example, journalism and event type shooting. This application is typically associated with an on-the-run shooting style, where you have no time to set up a shot, you're dealing with low light or too much light, you have zero control of the location or the subject. Huh. Well, there's a camera for that. Prosumer camcorders. Ergonomically designed to be handheld or shoulder-mounted, prosumer camcorders have built-in features like autofocus, fixed zoom lens, audio inputs for microphones, plus they shoot in Full HD or Ultra HD 4K resolutions. The video files are small by nature, which means you can quickly manage your media, edit on the go, and upload to social media quickly. These kinds of cameras include the Sony PXW X70, the Sony PXW Z150, and the Canon XA15. What are you shooting? YouTube videos. Now this is a broad but trendy platform that supports all types of video production, but for our purposes, let's stick with a popular form of video, vlogging. Commonly associated with a steady mix of features like the selfie mode, autofocus, slow motion, shallow depth of field, and time lapses. Well, there's a camera for that. Mirrorless and DSLR cameras. Mirrorless DSLR cameras offer a variety of image acquisition because they have larger sensor sizes and can shoot 4K, resulting in really stunning cinematic images. Thanks to their small and compact size, these cameras can be used almost anywhere while doing almost anything that a vlogger may be doing. And an articulating LCD screen makes shooting their selfies much easier. Plus, these cameras can also shoot high-res photos for their time-lapse transitions, making it the perfect combo camera for your student filmmaker. These kinds of cameras include the Sony uh, a6300, the Sony a7R III, the GH5 from Panasonic, and uh, ooh, the Canon 60 Mark II, also a good choice. Don't forget your Gorillapod. Hey, what are you shooting? Documentary. Documentaries have been experiencing a bit of resurgence the last couple years thanks to streaming distribution platforms like Netflix and Hulu. I think documentaries are the better for it. A good documentary camera is one that is ergonomic, simple, and robust. It also offers cinematic image quality with pro-level audio inputs. <laughs> and there's a camera for that. Professional camcorders. Larger image sensors, higher bit rates, and improved color space are all features of a professional camcorder. A larger image sensor, an interchangeable lens system, or quality zoom lens built in uh, with autofocus, image stabilization are all what make this type of camera the ideal choice for documentary filmmakers. Because at any given time, one can be doing an in-depth interview or running around a crowded sports arena or baseball field. In documentary, you need to be ready for anything. Therefore, the cameras you want in your bag include the Canon C100 Mark II, the Sony FS5, and the Panasonic DVX200. Drawbacks include a little more expensive and heavy to handhold, so don't forget that monopod. What are you shooting? Narrative. Narrative filmmaking has no doubt transformed the age of digital, but the core elements remain the same, and there are only a handful of cameras that can deliver the goods, like resolution, color space, ISO performance, and raw acquisition. And you guessed it, there's a camera for that. Digital cinema cameras. Filmmakers, at the highest level, use digital cinema cameras because they can record in high resolutions like 4K, 5K, sometimes 6K, while shooting in a format called RAW, which requires little to no compression of the images recorded, providing the utmost room for post, whether it's visual effects or color grading. The native ISOs are always clean, which means no digital noise in your shadows, phenomenal skin tones, I could go on and on, but essentially the camera's just mission critical, because they deliver the best looking images money can buy. So, if you want the best looking footage on campus next year, making all your friends green with envy, these are the cameras to consider. The Blackmagic Design Ursa Mini Pro, the Canon C200, the Sony FS7, and the Panasonic AU EVA1. Some drawbacks include manual focus and exposure, bigger file sizes, they require heavy expensive rigs and camera crews to use them properly. Now a lot of cameras mentioned today can blend between applications and genres of videos, but hopefully this helped guide you in the right direction. And of course there are always more things to consider when purchasing your first video camera, but we couldn't cover them all. I only get four minutes. So tell us about your first video camera and how it worked for you in the comments section below. I want to hear from you. This is Jake with B&H. Just keep shooting.